Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Mike Walker and today I'm looking at long shutter speed time lapse sequences for creating motion blur in the image and also an easy way to capture lightning images in a thunderstorm. I'm on the front here at Torre Vieca and it's a very bright sunny day in June. I want the shutter speed to be as long as possible and the gap between exposures to be short. This will give a smooth ghosting and blurry effect to all images moving in the frame. I'm shooting with a Panasonic GH5 and on this camera the dial needs to be set to time lapse and in the camera menu on page 4 set the shooting interval and image count to your requirements. Bearing in mind for every 25 images you will have just one second of playback on a 25p timeline. So in this instance I'm capturing 300 frames to give me 12 seconds of real-time video. In order to get this motion blur effect we need to reduce the amount of bright sunlight hitting the sensor. So that means using the lowest ISO, using a small aperture and attaching a neutral density filter to make it possible to obtain a long shutter speed. This filter is a higher variable density filter it gives from 1.5 up to 9 stops of reduction, which will enable the shutter speed to be increased. All these sequences have a 1 second exposure at ISO 100 and F11. ND filters do tend to cool down the image. I was set at 8000K for these sequences, whereas normally it would be a lot less, maybe around 56 to 6200. The time-lapse sequences you see here are done in camera on the GH5. It's a great facility where after the time-lapse is finished, you are asked to make video. And you can choose between 4K 25p, HD 50p and HD 25p. The frame playback rate can also be selected from 1 to 50 frames per second. You can even opt for a reverse rendering so the time-lapse will play backwards. So all in all a very versatile facility and all built into the Panasonic GH5. Another good use I have found for long exposure time lapse is capturing and pulling great still images of lightning during a thunderstorm. If you use the minimum interval of one second and make the exposure, in this instance four seconds, point the camera and tripod in the general direction of the storm, you have a great chance of capturing the lightning as I did here. I took about a thousand images and caught three good pictures. This time lapse was at night so I didn't need the ND filter but during the day it would work with the ND and equally good results would be obtained. Well that's it for now, hope you found it useful. I'll be doing a lot more on the GH5 and the DJ Osmo Plus so please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.